have big ambitions for our cheese plant and the amount of milk that will be required to fill it. We've been talking for a while now about the importance of adding cheese to our product mix. In order to do that, we need the milk to fill our new factory. In order to fill the factory, we're building a really strong relationship with our existing supply base. We've got a team that's out on farm every day of the week, just pulling up driveways, talking to farmers, finding out exactly what it is that they need to continue to grow their business in a sustainable way. For the community, I think it's going to be a real you know, big plus, um, you know, because especially when the, the fire happened and, and people that were in the cheese factory, their future was unknown. Now at least, you know, it gives them some confidence that processing cheese back again, we've got a job and, and just the, the um, flow on to the community, it's, yeah, it's going to be yeah, yeah, pretty good I reckon. Especially when you've got a finished product coming out of the plant, which will be. Uh, we used to just get a block and you know, we didn't know where that went, whereas now we've got a finished product and we can sort of take a bit of pride in that because we can tell everyone that this is our milk, this is our cheese. But the fact that cheese is one of the probably better sellers in the world market, if, um, if you're in that market, well, it can only be good for you if you're supplying it. To put a bit of positivity back in the industry up here in the north, it's something to look forward to and hopefully it, it comes back to the farm gate and uh, shows the people that Fonterra is a real deal up here in the north.